I want to show you some very unique designs that are saved in the Husqvarna Viking Designer Brilliance 80 sewing and embroidery machine. So I'm talking about cutwork designs, and with that, your local Husqvarna Viking dealer will have cutwork needles. You will need them for these designs to actually be cut the way they're designed to be done. Now, they're in here somewhere. And oh gosh, there's some in this menu and some in that menu. Do you know there's a very easy way to find all the cutwork designs? So I'm going to start by going to the top center soy machine, the Joy OS Advisor. So I'm looking for cutwork embroidery, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the one where it is cutwork with needles. Now there are the ones for scissors too, which is nice, but these files are the ones that I wanted to show you what it looks like. So when I touch it, so first off, what it does is it brings all the designs that are built into this machine into one grouping. So I know that all 20 of these are designed for this. So I'm going to just pick a design and bring it in. And with that, we do have the step-by-step -step of what you're going to need, but I want to show you what you're going to see on screen when you go to stitch it actually out. So all the steps, we're going to be changing to a needle that at a certain time that is um, much shorter, so you, <laughs> it actually cuts. It's really awesome. And it'll tell you which of the needles you actually need to put on. So let me go ahead. I'm going to just, we're not going to actually stitch this, but it will uh, let you uh, see what it looks like when it asks for a certain needle. So I'm going to just put the hoop on. Again, don't worry about what's going on over by the needle. But what you do see is like right here. So it's going to stitch an outline. And then at step two, it has a picture of a red cutwork needle. And you notice it's yellow on this one. So cutwork needles are designed to have a blade at a certain direction. Your pack will actually have a total of four needles. One that goes north and south, one that goes east and west, and then one that goes this diagonal and the one that goes that diagonal. So the machine will tell you which needle to put on for which step you need to cut with. <laughs> it's just that easy. A lot of designs actually only need a north and south and an east and west cut unless there is any, nope, it doesn't have. This one's just the first two needles within that. But I just wanted to let you see. So you're not actually stitching anything. You take your thread out of the machine. You insert the short cut work needle. You let it do its thing. Uh, you do have to have it properly stabilized, usually with some wash away stabilizer. Your book does recommend that, and plus the tutorial that we just peeked at. So even down here, as it shows you um, what it's going to look like at your machine, and that we're not putting thread in it. Don't worry about your bobbin, just leave it in. It's going to go ahead and do, uh, do exactly what it needs to do. And as soon as you get back to a actual stitching color, put that thread in, and you'll be finishing all those raw edges that the cutwork needles cut.